very special guests in the kitchen with me, Julie and Yasmin from the Villa Shop at Villa Marie Community Center. And they are here today to talk about fair trade. And I'm going to ask you, Julie, to explain just in brief um, to our viewers what fair trade actually means. Well, fair trade is an organized social movement and marketing approach that takes producers of services and products in, um, in developing countries and connects them to developed countries. It's a way of establishing an equity in the international trade market. So these producers are connected to consumers that they normally wouldn't be able to reach with fewer middlemen. Thus, they're being educated also to have a skill in addition to having a fair price for their products so and services. So they're getting paid fairly. Uh, they're getting paid a fair wage for um, the efforts they're putting into the product. Correct. And Correct. fair trade is also humane and ethical practices with the right to unionize and limiting you know, labor practices and child elimination of child labor. That sort of things also apply under okay. fair trade. Um, I've had the privilege of being at the Villa Shop at Villa Marie, and it is absolutely just amazing. There are mm -hmm. so many products. And um, on our table today, we have quite a few variety to look at. But I'm going to ask you, Yasmin, um, how are you able to keep the prices so fair uh, for the consumers that come into the Villa Shop? Because they're so reasonable. Well, we are a nonprofit organization, and thus um, we look to make sure that the women actually receive the income that they're supposed to. So when I put a markup price up on this, it is just to cover the overhead inside the shop. It's not to go absorbent and make a huge profit on it. Okay. Otherwise, we'd be competing with the outside. Okay. And to get to the profit, uh, the products really quickly, this product in particular is one of my favorite. Can you explain what this is right down here? If you take a look at that, that is tiny little pop can tabs on it, okay? And part of this is that a lot of places, we, they don't have the material to go ahead and build or create their craft. So what they do is they use sustainability, and they go into the garbage dumps. They go and recycle bags. They recycle. Those are all pop tans out of the garbage dump that have been recycled and made into a purse. And in addition, over here um, to uh, the right, we have some bowls and uh, vases made out of recycled magazines. Yes, those are from Vietnam, and that is their only source of income. Okay, and then down here, too, I really love this. This purse is made out of, it looks like a bunch of different uh, labels. Is it labels? Or Actually, is that it's candy wraps, it's potato chip, uh, small bags that have been used, and that is, they're also their form of sustainability. And this year, they've decided to go one step further and started making jewelry. So we have the earrings over here. And if we go a little farther down over here, we have the beaded jewelry from Guatemala. Okay, and you're able to um, purchase these items at the Villa Shop, but you can also, um, you also do go on the road with these items as well? Yes, we're trying to, this year, trying to expand, and we'd like to go into the schools and educate the um, children and also the young adolescents, also into the community churches and teach them about fair trade and its principles and how it, in fact, uh, your purchase does make a huge uh, impact on our economy. Okay, and if they want to get a hold of um, the Villa Shop, Julie, what number can they be reached at? 724-964-8920, and just ask for the Villa Shop. Okay, and we also have more information on the WFMJ website. Um, thank you for joining us this morning, and back to you.